guys listen it's time it's time for i choose you make sure you got your popcorn you got your drinks i want you all to get comfortable kick your feet up we're gonna have an outstanding show tonight and we need you guys we need all of you in the chat so be very interactive pay attention we got some instructions for you and everything but just welcome to the show welcome <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome. It's tonight. It's I Choose You. And I thank all of you for being here. So listen, we're going to just get this show started. So listen, it's here. So I want you all in the chat to pay attention. I got my co-host, my, my co-producer, Aaron. Oh, hey, Aaron. Hey, SB, how you doing? I'm doing good. Aaron, you excited about this thing? Oh, man, I'm so excited. I, oh, man, I've been running around all day getting prepared. It's going to be a great time. So listen, Aaron, let's go ahead and give them the instructions before we uh, get into the show. So everybody knows what's going on tonight. You go ahead and start this thing out. All right. So listen, uh, you know, look, SB and uh, Mr. Boss, they spend so much time putting this show together. So we got to make sure we do everything we can to make this a go. And we really wanted to uh, empower the chat and make sure that they were really inclusive in this. So what we came up with an idea. Now, this idea. We call it money on your head. What does that mean? This is how it works. Each contestant is assigned a number, one, two, three, bachelor, one, two, three. You can send any amount of money to put on that bachelor's head. At the end of the show, whichever bachelor has the most money on their head, they are automatically eliminated by the chat. So if, if one of the bachelors don't say something you don't like, you can put money on their head. If, if, they, if, they, if they got funny eyebrows, funny nose, you can put money on their head. Or you can eliminate the competition because you like this bachelor more than the other one. We just put in power where it belongs. And so also what we're going to have is what we call the wild card. And we came, uh, me and SB, we came up with this idea. It, it's a lot added to it. And we're not going to reveal all the wild card action. But with the wild card action is what we're going to start at a $25 Super Chat. And what it allows you to do is ask any contestant that you choose any question that you want. So that way you can be our eyes and ears. You can ask them questions that maybe we didn't think of. Maybe you can pull some out of them that will help. And then here's the kicker. If they don't answer your question, that money go on that contestant's head. So, you know, you know, we really just try to find ways to empower y'all, get y'all really involved with this. Uh, and so, yeah, that, that's the primary instructions we're going to start y'all with. And then we're going to, um, I'm going to let SB take over and she's going to add some things. So listen, just in case y'all didn't hear it, didn't hear it, you all got the power. The chat has the power to eliminate. Now, we're going to let Bella make her choice too. But guess what, guys? Y'all got the power. So understand this. It's going to be accumulation throughout the day. So all super chats that you feel like you got to let us know, though. If you're giving us. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm sorry, SB. You're right. I apologize. I forgot, you know, to tell the mods. I need my mods. I know my sis Brittany is there. I need her specifically. She texted me earlier. I forgot to text her back. I've been busy. I need you to keep help us keep track of how much money on these bachelors' heads. So when you see the, when you see the bachelor number one and money on their head for whatever reason, I want you to tally it up for me. I need my mods to, to multitask and support us. And make sure y'all help support the tallies. Me and SB need y'all for that. We really appreciate it. Got that, y'all. So in other words, you can be here to support the show. Or if you want to leave a super chat to make an elimination, it's accumulative throughout the night. So in other words, Bachelor One, and it's going to be in the order that they come. Bachelor One, if you feel like after he speaks and gives his spiel and answers these questions that you know it's not good and you want him gone, you can actually vote for him. But you're voting to eliminate. 
So make sure you put one eliminate in whatever your super chat is. We won't read them, but we will keep up with them because at the end of the night, you all get to choose who actually goes home. Now, the other thing, like he said, there's also a super chat question. It's a wild card question. If you have a question for one of the bachelors and you want that question asked, it's a $25 super chat and we will ask that bachelor that question. And if you, or if he doesn't answer again, that can actually go on to his elimination, but I'm sure they'll answer because that's what they're here for. So thank you for that. And thank you for all your support. Guys, we appreciate it. The show is going to get started. The first thing we want to do, though, is we're going to bring her up. Miss Bella It's our bachelorette for the first season. Bella. <laughs> Hello, Bella. How are you? Hello, security boss and Aaron. How are you? <laughs> We're doing well. You ready for all this? I'm ready and I'm so excited. Yes, I'm so ready. Okay. Okay, good. So listen, we got one more thing that we didn't tell you all about yet, but here it is. We have our wild card judge and we're going to bring him up and you all know him as uh, Mr. Logic. Hey, Logic, how are you? How you doing, security boss? I'm doing good. Now, you, now, now, I want you to tell us what you're doing here. What part you going to play in this? What you going to be doing? I'm just a back of the air. Uh, you know, I want to ask the guys the tricky questions because I want to get down to the meat in their head. I want I want to drill down to it. So I want to make sure that Bella got the the perfect guy for her. And then I'm ready to get this thing started. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So listen, guys, we're ready. I hope everybody in the chat understands what we're doing. Um, and we're going to get started with the show. We're going to get started with the first bachelor. All right. So everybody's ready. Any questions before we get started? No. All right. The first bachelor is Ace the Goat. Hey, Ace. What's going on, guys? How you doing? We're doing very well. Hi, Ace. Hey. Hey, Bella. Oh, I like that. A little sneaky sneak. All right. So, um, Aaron, you get started. Go ahead. Get started for us. All right, Bachelor number one. First question is to you. All right. So, we both know ain't nothing worse than a woman going on a date and a man saying, I forgot my wallet. Mm -mm -mm. Can you tell me what is the last straw on a date for you? Last up, for um, mm, uh, I think the last show for me would be if the engagement, if the get engagement is not right, like she's on her phone the whole day, I, that's a pet peeve for me. So that would be my last show. Hmm. Okay, all right. So if she, if she's not uh focused on you and throughout the, show, then you yeah, pretty you, much you can't that's you can't vibe, with. but she's distracted, and so. I know the vibe gonna be off, so that's yeah, that's a no for me. It's all about the vibes in 2022. I understand. I understand. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right, hold on, Aaron. Let me get on his head. Look, I'm gonna put you on the spot, um, Mr. Ace. Okay. On a scale of one to ten, Ray Bella. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, okay. Um I give Bella I give Bella eight. She's right. killing that pink. She is killing that pink right there. I tell you, that was real good. I like the last story. Looking, looking lovely tonight. Mm. Thank you. Lovely. Oh, All right. Wait, wait, wait. Boss, I ain't finished with him though. Oh, oh, sorry. What Bella got to do to get that extra two points, brother? <laughs> I got to see the whole package. Know what I mean, I'm a, I'm a package person. I got to see the whole package. Know what I mean? Oh, so what you mean is you got to see the whole body? Yeah, yeah, I gotta see that. <laughs> okay, so you telling me that you know what I'm saying it, it, it's more about the body than you, you know what I'm saying for them last two points. Yeah. All right, we, you, you asked me to rate her on her physical, right? That's what that's what you asked me to. Do. Uh, I ain't asked you to rate on the physical. I just said rate her, but you good? Wow. <laughs> this is my first time meeting her, so that's the only thing I could rate her. On. 
All right. I'm done, Aaron. <laughs> That's no pressure. Okay. Um, you got to watch, <laughs> watch So are, are we going to just focus on one bachelor or are we going to bring them back and forth? No, we're going to focus on one bachelor. And I have a question. Mm-hmm. Can, I, can I ask a question? Is it possible for me to ask a question? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. So, Ace, I hear you good at bars. Mm-hmm. If you had to, um, if you had one opportunity to pick up a woman with your bars, can you give it to us right now? Can you can you do the bars and let me hear what it's got, what you got to say? To pick up a woman? Yeah, let's hear what you would say. Mm. You got the big screen, Ace. Go ahead and put it to work. Uh, I would say, hmm. Come on now. Don't put me on the spot right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, right. <laughs> okay, don't pick up a woman. Just give me just at the top of your head. Give me what you got. Give me some bars. I know what you got. Top of my head. You, um it's the chosen one on I choose you. Ain't a better choice, so you know what to do. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll I give you that. I'll give you that. I will give you that. All right, thank you. Uh, did we have any more questions? For, Bella, did you have any questions for Ace before we allow him to go? No, I did not. Thank you, Ace, for coming up. I appreciate you. He'll be back in a few. Oh, he coming back. Okay, okay. Right. okay. All, right. <laughs> All right. All right, Ace. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, we got that second batch. It's Jackson. Jackson, come on up, please. Hi, Jackson. All right, Jackson, can you hear us? We can't hear you. Unmute You're yourself. You're on mute. Uh oh, I can't hear you. Go back and we come bring you back up. Go out and come back in. Can't hear you. All right, so listen, while we're waiting on Jackson, we're going to go ahead and go to the last, the next bachelor, and it is Mr. Naheem Hines. Come on up. Bachelor number three. Hi, Bachelor number three. Hey, what's up, Bella? How are you? Good, how are you? I can't complain. Happy to be on the show. Happy to see you. Thank you. Thank you. All uh, right. We appreciate <laughs> yeah, we we going to jump right into it. I'm a nice guy. So, you know, I, I got logic backing me to ask all the tough questions, you know. So I got a question for you. You know, we in 2022. And, you know, nobody cooks anymore. Can you tell me if you are a five-star chef? Do you burn the kitchen down? Or are you more of a DoorDash or Uber Eats guy? Uh, honestly, it just depends on where I'm at with my job. Very, very busy. But uh, I can cook. Uh, I had a sister and stuff. So I know a little bit of stuff. I cook great breakfast. But uh and I can manage in the kitchen. I'm not a chef, but I mean, it's doable. <laughs> hmm, I, I don't feel confident about that answer. Nah, no, 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 no. Look, I'm saying like, I'm not, I can't cook everything, but what I can cook, I'm good at cooking. Like I cook steak, I can cook spaghetti, hibachi. Like, I stick to my stuff, but I can't give you like a whole broad thing. But I mean, what I can cook, I'm good at. Okay. All right. All right. Mm. I like that. I got some for him. I got some for him. Talk All to right. you. All right, so Mr. Um, how you pronounce your name again, my brother? Naheem. Naheem. Call me Heem or uh, Nai, yeah. whichever you want to call me. That's a strong, powerful name, my brother. I want you to. Uh, you just met Bella at the grocery store, and y'all at the grocery store right now. I want you to shoot uh-huh. your shot at her. What would I tell her? I mean, I would just be honest. Uh, you want me to tell you what I would do? Or you want me to shoot it with uh, you? You a shoot hypothetical? Your, y'all at the grocery store, y'all in the cereal aisle. Um, she got her cart. You got one of the little handheld bags. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I mean, I would just pull up on her and just be honest. I'd be like, uh, hey, I think you're very, very beautiful or attractive. Which, hey, you're very, very beautiful. Uh, I like to get to know you better. I like to take you dinner, to dinner. And uh, whatever she says on that, I'm going to live with it. But at least I know I shot my shot. So you ain't going to ask her her name? But now you just going to shoot your I mean, shot? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm going to talk to her. I'm like, hey, what's up? And I'm asking her name. I'm going to say, hey, what's up? About? What's your name? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Shoot, shoot Yeah, shot. I mean. Yeah, we, we ain't here. Right now, we'll her. Hey, shoot the shot. We're going to see what's the scenario. Oh, so you want me to talk to Okay. Um, turn hey, up, up, turn uh, in her direction and shoot your shot. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all making it hypothetical. Now I got to do it. All right. Um, okay. Can we do something else? Like, I already know her name and stuff. You ask me her name and stuff, and 
I already know her name. You give me stuff that I already know. Well, go it's ahead. Not a fair question. So do what. Go ahead. This. Well, how would you pick? How I would see you the comments. I'm not an actor. How would you um, pick? Okay. Her, how would you pick? A, how would you um, ask her on a date? Let's just go there. How would you ask her on a date? That's what I said. I would just ask her her name. I would say, "Hey, what's up? Well, uh, I'm Naheem. Uh, nice to meet you." And I'd ask her her name. She would tell me her name is Bella. And I would just tell her I think she's very attractive, and I'd like to get to know her better. Get to know her better, and take her on din- take her to dinner, and we can talk and uh, see if we like each other from there on, and see what happens. So, Bella, what would your answer be? Um, I would say he seems like a nice guy, so I would say yes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gary, yeah, you got any questions yeah. for? N- not so easy, Mister Naeem. Not so easy. <laughs> I got, I got a question for you because you, you, you seem like a heartbreaker to me. So, let me ask you this question: You, because you seem like you didn't broke a few hearts in your past. Uh, tell me, when, when you break up w- w- with a woman, what makes it so hard for them to get over you? I ain't gonna lie, I'm toxic. That's oh. I, I've been toxic. So I've, I've, been, I've been working on myself. <laughs> I, I was toxic in the past, and I, you know, I've learned from that. I'm just gonna be real. So, been toxic, and uh, there were times where I should have just left, and I didn't. We've all done that in life, so uh, I've learned from that. Well, we appreciate your honesty because my chat don't call cat. My cat, my chat don't call cat. Hold, hold on for a minute, Chad. What you think about that? He's just toxic. What do you think? I mean, we in, both of us are toxic. I mean, you hear him? <laughs> That's just what it was. Ooh. All right. So, we, but you did say something very important, and that that was that you're working on yourself. Yeah, I mean. You gotta look at your past and accept your truths. And the only thing you can do is move on from that and grow. That's life. Hmm. That's real vague though. I mean, what do you mean you toxic? That's just like saying, I like to dance. Explain to me the toxic. Uh, uh, it's nothing bad. It's just like, you know, like maybe there's times or there's people that should be out there that stay out your life and you let them back in for whatever reason that is. And we've all, I'm sure we've all had people like that in our life. That's just life. <laughs> it, it looked like they put money on your head right now. They put money on your head. Mm, that's real. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, I got you. So, so Naheem, have anybody ever told you you were shy? Mm. You see yourself as being shy, outgoing, because we got to make sure I mean, we take Bella. Now we don't need no shy guy. I mean, what would you place yourself? Am I shy? Not really. You know. I used to be when I was younger, not really. Okay. All uh, right. So you saying you're going to protect her? Protect Bella? Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. Any woman with me, I always protect. I grew up with a mom and a sister, so I'm not going to make sure you, nothing happens. Okay. We're we going to come back to that. We're going to come back to that question. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to protect her. I mean, that's just real. I mean, I have a twin sister, so I mean, I know what it's like to have a girl right there. So, I mean, I'm going to protect any woman around me. That's just me. You know what? I'll save it, Aaron. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Thank you, Bachelor number three. Where's my Bachelor number two? We're going to have him come back. Yeah, hold on for that. Na- hold on, Naheem. We're going to bring you back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. I want to make sure I get Yeah, and that's that enough. question. Yes, he is the athlete. Talking about that makes sense. This chat is something else. You know that? Mm, man, yeah, man, come on, man. He built for it. He built for it. He built for it. Listen. Dang. All right. All right, Naheem. Shoot. We're going to bring you back. All right. We're going to bring Mr. Jackson up. Let him have his chance. All right, Jackson. What's going on? Can y'all hear me now? We can. How are you, sir? Feeling good. Bella, beautiful. How you feeling? Yeah. Hello, Mr. Jackson. Oh, I, I'm doing. Oh. Well, real quick, uh, real quick. I'm sorry, Jenny. Look, I, the chat going crazy. Listen, chat. Let, let, let that man talk to her. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk to her brother. He was mad in there, didn't he? Go ahead. Mm. <laughs> I feel like we should leave the room. We, we, we saw her, brother. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, I just want to induce myself. That's what we're here for, right? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Questions? Right. Anybody? Aaron, okay. any questions? I can't. Yeah, yeah, I got questions. I got <laughs> questions, but I want to make sure the chat, listen, chat, but listen, make sure y'all specific with these super chats. If y'all put money on their head, let us know which contestant it is, okay? We got to know, all right? Because we, we, we keeping track of this. But I, I do got a question uh, 
for you, uh, Mr. Jackson. Can I call you Mr. Jackson? What do you prefer? I mean, you can call me Jax. Most people call me okay, Jax. Jax. All right, Jax. I like Jax. All right, Jax. So I got a question for you, right? Uh, Let's say you uh, you had 24 hours to live in an unlimited bank account. How would you spend your last day? Man. <laughs> well, my very last day is definitely going to have to do with nature. Um, I'm probably going to travel, try to travel to as many places as I can in 24 hours. Um, I don't know because you can't really travel that many places in 24 hours. You want to go someplace, but, um, definitely nature. Um, it's not like a lot of, uh, material things that will just turn me up them last 24 hours. You know what I mean? Like buy a car, you can't do nothing with it. all the money in the world. If you got 24 hours. So I mean, to be a lot of uh, meditating, you know, enjoying the ocean, um, probably going to have a, a, a turn up birthday party, uh, you know, or last day party or something like that. Uh, invite everybody, have a cookout. So, you know, something real simple, family environment, you know, cause you can't really do too much with what you're going to buy if you have an unlimited bank account. Well, hold up. I want you to repeat what you just said, but I want you to involve Bell in that, in that equation. Okay. Um, well, uh, so Bella, baby, I got 24 hours to live. So I just booked us a flight. We're going to Europe. No matter of fact, we're going to Africa. Might as well where we started. Let's end up. We're going to Africa. We about to hit as many places as possible. Um, we're going to create a bucket list in an hour, and we're going to try to get every single thing on this list done before this 24 hours is up. Uh, so pack your bags, uh, get that list ready, and uh, let's book them flights. All right, just a sidebar. Is she going to try to give up baby within them 24 hours? Definitely. Okay. All right. My man. But wait a minute. <laughs> He had 24 hours. She didn't have 24 hours. He he had to go. Hey, you need, need to leave his legacy. No. I gotta leave the legacy. What you mean? If she if she loves me and we about to get married, or if, we, <laughs> if our relationship is that strong, then maybe she does want that. Now I ain't trying to trap her. Oh. You know what I mean? You but did have shoot. a lot of money though. You still had all the money. Yeah, you could leave the money. Yeah, okay. I see. Okay. This is why. This is exactly why. This need to be the other way around. We need to be choosing these other women. Oh, they're gonna try to take all our money. Oh, he died. We had 20, money. Sir, yeah. sir, excuse me, sir. You had 24 hours. That was it. <laughs> I'm counting down. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to keep your money into death, too. I'm ain't you? Down. To die <laughs> with it like Egyptian. That's all I had to do. He had 24. Mm. Oh, man. I like that. So, so, Bella, did you have any questions for Mr. Jax? Um, no, I didn't. Uh, thank you. So I, I want to say this, you know, um, we haven't mentioned what these young men do at all, but you know, Mr. Jax is a dancer. <laughs> so do you, I know, you know, he liked to dance and he can dance too. So do you like to dance, Bella? You know, I'm not a very good dancer. I think I may need someone to teach me. Well, let, let, I didn't, let me, hold on. I didn't do him any justice. Let me say this differently. He's a professional dancer. Oh, facts. hold on, SB. Facts. Hold on. Oh, facts. Okay, okay, Jackson. All right, listen. Yeah. My chat is in here. They will call Cap. I want. I want the truthful answer. What Are kind you of gonna tell me? Are you gonna tell me? Oh, oh. No, I'm not a stripper. Okay. Oh, 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 no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> nah, no. Nah, listen. I can't believe listen, nah. hold on. I, I already knew it was L coming. Listen. <laughs> hey Jack, so I, I need to know because my chat gonna call Cap at that. I need the truth. Can you outdance Chris Brown? Oh, I'm giving him some serious competition, that's for sure. So listen, if you don't mind, y'all can look at my at my Instagram, New Jack City, J A X X. I've been around. We done we've done some things. I was gonna tell him. Do you want to share with them someone you have danced with? Um. Well, I was on America's Got Talent um, with a group I choreographed for season seven, went all the way to top 48. Um, I've worked with Lorianne Gibson, um, worked with Usher. Um, uh, shoot. Uh, De uh, what's her name? Uh, Michelle Williams from Destiny's Child. Uh, a lot of different gospel artists. So I I've worked, uh, you know, Throughout the gospel outlet for for the majority of it, but I have had some R and B and some some other uh, local artists in Atlanta and in Charlotte. All right, 
Well, okay, I have a question. Oh, what, I, so what um, dance would you suggest I do? Like, just starting out, what would you suggest? Well, um, to be honest, I'll say bachata. Even though it's not like an American dance, it's something where we can both be close. Uh, you know, I can take the lead or you can take the lead. But it's something where we can both, you know, um, get involved and, you know, figure out something together you know what i'm saying it's a step you know it's a beat do do uh cha 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 so when you're in that beat you know we can you know have a chance to connect perfect did i hear connect have a chance to connect did i okay i like that hold on i got i got one question most the security okay. boss for him. this is gonna be okay. quick so uh i'm a known bachelor right and i know red is my favorite bachelor color <laughs> And I know what the red go down. So um, can you be honest with me and tell me what that red all in your house represent? Is it for the ladies or so, the favorite color? No, actually, um, I'm actually at, a, at, a, at my homeboy's house. So I had to, um, he was helping me rearrange something on my car uh, for my convertible. So I just stayed over here longer. It took a long time and I wasn't going to be able to be in the car talking on, on here. So this isn't mine. This is actually... He is, and he's married with a child, so. Huh. I what kind of car you drive? Uh, Mustang GT. Drop top? Yes, sir. 5.0? Yes, sir. Muscle car. Okay. I'm going to be about. Okay, okay. So listen, um, Jax, we're going to drop you back down, and we're going to bring. Oh, well, should I ask? Are we going to bring um, anybody back up? Or what? Are we good, Aaron? Or where are we now in these questions? Yeah, bring, bring me back, uh, Bachelor number one. Okay. All right, Jax, we're going to drop you down. Bachelor number one, Mr. Ace. I'm going to need you to come back up. And uh, Aaron, what you got for us? Now, Bachelor number one, I got a question for you. Everything you love is in a burning building. Everything you love. Mm -hmm. Every person, every item. Now, you have only one option to save one item or one person. Who do you save? I'm going to save the person. No, who? Who is this person? Oh, who is the person? Oh. The person? Oh. Oh, man. Everyone I love is in this burning building, you said? Everybody you love is in this building. Every item you love, everything that you love is in this burning building. You only get to save one item or one person. Yeah. Well, uh, at this point right now, it had to be my niece. That's the, the love of my life right now. She's four. Yeah, I'll have to save her. Man. That's... Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> Security so balls. I want to be fair, right? Okay. I want to give all the men the same opportunity I gave the other guy to shoot a shot at Bella, though. But I don't know if if Mister Boss can do it. But can everybody? You take everybody off the screen with them too. And I want this young man to shoot the shot because I want the audience to be able to intimate look and see him shooting his shot. Hmm, I think we can make that happen. So let's. Oh, it just got quiet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi, Bella. Hi, Ace. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Where are you from? I'm from Maryland. Maryland. Okay. You ever been to New York? Yeah, actually, I was just in New York a couple of weeks ago. Okay. What's your favorite part? Uh, I don't know if I really have a favorite part. I think the whole city is beautiful. Mm. So you, you think you're pretty much seeing the whole city? You know what? No, I haven't. It's so much to yeah. see. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. You know what I mean, maybe, maybe you should you should have a tour guide like myself show you around and show you something you've never seen before. How you feel? Oh, I think that'd be nice. Okay. All right. So we we'll we'll talk about it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I like you did a good job. Did yeah. a good job. Oh, I like that. All right. So, um, Mr. Logic, do you have any questions before we allow Ace to go ahead and drop back down and move on to the next bachelor? I got one more question. What do you, oh, uh, what do, you do for a living, Ace? 
I'm a, I'm a content creator, daily wrap up crew. I mean, we being on YouTube, IG, TikTok, you all over. Give us a follow. Great content. Mm. So, right, so Bella don't want to work. Bella want to stay home and take care of your kids. Is mm-hmm. that a possibility? I mean, I mean, the way I feel about relationships these days is you. I'm trying to build generational wealth. So in order to do that as a black man in this country, I feel like we need two, two incomes in the household. So I would like to have two incomes to go towards the greater good. If I could do it by myself and she could stay home, take care of the kids, I got no problem with that. Mm. But isn't it generational wealth in the kids? Excuse me? Isn't it generational wealth starts with the kids? Yeah, but I got to leave them something. I want to get them a head start. I don't want them starting off where I started. You know what I mean? Do you think she can leave more to them by putting out her all into them kids? I, I, I believe that's very important. Nurturing is very important. Oh. Uh, I, I, I just I, I just want to check, check where your head at, brother. I appreciate it. <laughs> all right. So, um, Aaron, do we need to bring back bachelor number three? Bring me back bachelor number three. Bring me back All bachelor. All right. Three. All right, Mr. And, Hyde. And, 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 and tell Mr. Boss, put me yeah, put me on top. I don't like being at the bottom. You can put me on top. All right, now bachelor number three, because I, I don't recognize names. I just call you bachelor number three. Now you said you said you was a protector. Now I got I gotta ask a question about that. Let's presume that the zombie apocalypse has just occurred. How are you prepared? To, to take care of your family. What, what are you going to do if this happens? <laughs> uh, honestly, the craziest thing is my sister and I were actually talking about like just buying like, you know, a shelter or something. Apparently it's something that people are actually doing for everything. But uh, if that were to happen, I'll be trying to do that. And then after that, we're going to try to find food. Uh, obviously we have to have some guns and we got to survive. And uh, I'm going to tell that we're going to, we got to fight too. We're going to ball till we fall and uh, I'm going to protect it till I die. Hopefully logic. I don't, but <laughs> make sure he know about guns, logic. Oh, I can do that. I know how to shoot guns. What kind of gun do you own, brother? Uh I don't have my license. I have a 380, but uh I grew up uh, outside of city limits. I grew up in the backyard. My dad taught me how to shoot, so I grew up shooting in the backyard. So pretty skilled with it. So you're familiar with rifles? Yes. What's the most common um ammunition used for a rifle? Who for me? For what I use? Yeah, what you use. Common? What Give me some rifle ammunition, a common <laughs> rifle ammunition. I mean, 7.62s are real popular. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. It's <laughs> 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 hard. Right. Right. So what what you do for a living? I'm an athlete. All right. Can you be more specific? No. Uh, I play. Oh, yeah. yeah I'll be. I think he could right. be. be. No, go ahead. What you can be specific? Go ahead, tell them. What do you do? I play. I play. Uh, I play for the Indianapolis Colts. Mm. He's being modest. He was one of the fastest running backs in 2018. Go ahead and tell him in the NFL. Uh, that's not my job. I don't really talk about what I do. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I just go out there and play, and uh, hopefully my play speaks for itself. So, but I'm not gonna okay, talk I'm about a what fan. I do. I, I'm a fan. I just happen to know these things. I follow football. <laughs> so. Look, I got I got a question there. I got I got more. So I know being an athlete, you know what I'm saying, you travel a lot and you get access to a lot of different women. How would that affect you and your relationship with Bella? I mean, you just gotta be faithful. We'll get one woman. And that's really what it is. You just have to be have to have someone there to support you. There's a lot of things you have to do, but really it comes back to discipline and self-control. And that's really most things in life. Okay. So are you, are you saying your history is indicative of uh, discipline and self-control? Uh, both. I mean, different relationships have been different things, but it's been both. I've messed up some and I've had good ones. I've had good relationships and bad ones. I mean, that's just <laughs> that's how it is. Okay. So l- let me ask you this. Let's say you went on a date with a, with a young woman and she was extremely nice, but it was dreadful. You had the worst 
time ever. How do you tell this woman you're not going on a second date without trying to hurt her feelings? How you do it? Uh, I would just be nice and just be honest and just say that uh, I think that our vibes off or uh, like our energy's off, and that uh, I don't think that we should have a second a second date. Yeah, I'm just not interested. I just try to be honest as I can and be nice and straightforward. Hmm. Mm. If I if I ask if you don't mind, I don't like to um creep. I ain't no creep though. But what kind of car you drive? Uh, I have a uh SU, a Mercedes SUV, and then I have a Mercedes convertible. All right, I'm good, secured of all. All right, all right. Any more questions, Bella? Did you have a question for Miss Nahim, Mr. Nahim, before we let him go? Um, yeah, I just want to know, what's the most exciting thing you've done recently? Hmm, what's the most exciting thing I've done recently? Uh, actually, I think the most exciting thing I've been doing is just in the community. I'm a national spokesperson of a certain organization, and uh, honestly, I've been picking up a lot of work. I actually have a charity event tomorrow. And uh, truthfully, I'm super excited about it because it's the first thing I've had to do that has based me not being an athlete. So I've uh, been super excited to be a national spokesperson and uh, being a person around the community, hopefully, and inspiring people. Great. Hold up. I got one more question, security boss. Yes, sir. Just say you and Bill, y'all get a relationship, y'all get married, y'all have kids. Which more is more important? Which more important? I'm sure. sorry, I can't hear you. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. What's going on here? What's oh. up, Bella? What's up? You, you go, Hi, Anton. Wait a minute. I, I don't be, listen, listen. Y'all know I don't believe in dating. What what is going on right now? Um <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, who is this? Is this my name? Anton, this Anton trash the show, guys. <laughs> what, 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 I mean, what, what's going on? Is, I, mean, so wait, wait, wait. So I got all of the corporates here. I got security boss. I got Mr. Logic. I got Aaron. I got Be Bella is supposed to be mad. Bella, you know you, man. What's going on? I know. It's we're, it's a dating show. It's a dating show. We're trying to see who's the best one. So I'm glad I got you here. You know what? I'm, I'm going to let it fly only because I trust the people that's on the panel. I love me some security boss. You know I rock with Mr. Logic, Mr. Logic, and I let nothing fly without it getting by him. And Aaron is my guy. I know he gonna Did he check your finances, Naheem? Did he check did my you... finances? Yeah, did you send in a bank statement? To who? <laughs> <laughs> to who? <laughs> He's good, Anton. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm listen. confused. Real talk. I, I love it. I'm I'm just here to show love and support. I'm rocking with y'all. Thank y'all for continuing to do what y'all do and creating great content. This is stuff that we like to see on the internet, on YouTube. Security boss, do your thing. Bella, you know you're my baby. I'm watching in the background to make sure everything is good. And y'all keep doing y'all thing. This is this is phenomenal. I'm loving the show. Thank you, Thank Anton. You, Anton. I love you, Anton. Yo, I'm glad you're not. <laughs> I'm going to dip out, but I just wanted to say I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Thank you. Thank you, Anton. Right, I love him. As you know. So I, was the only per so I was the only person who was lost right there. Okay, I see. <laughs> I got gotcha. no. okay. you. Okay. Not at all. We just have a tribe of people around us. I have a tribe of people, my friends and my family. They're very protected. So that's all. That's good. Yeah, you, I mean, you, head, you, you deserve to be protected. You're a queen. I mean, you have to be protected at all times. Yes, he's given his blessing. Yes. She's a queen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, Mr. Lodge, what was that question you had, sir? All right, I'm gonna just wrap it up though, because I, I know you you know what I'm saying you're a football player, you got stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? Bella investing in your kids or actually bringing resources to your household, which one is more important? Bella uh bringing resources to my household. May you ask me the question again, please? I said, which one is more important to you? Her bringing resources and providing resources for your kids or bringing financial resources to your household? Which one is most important? Maybe my kids. It'd definitely be my kids. Very good answer. Very, very good. All right, Aaron, you got any more questions? Yeah, I got one question for this guy because I got, I got to make sure 
I got to make sure I'm extracting something out of them. I need to know. If, if they decided to make bachelor number three the president for 24 hours, for 20, you president for 24 hours, and you get to change one law, you get to create one law, what would it be? Um, you got executive powers know. now. Use your wise. powers. What would I do? Truthfully, um, I think um, I'll be real vague here. I truthfully think that, uh, honestly, most people, like, you know how people go to jail and there's people who uh, have lied and they're still in jail? All people who have, have been proving, like, Ill, well, my bad, sorry. All people who have been proven, like, you know, innocent, I think should be out because there's obviously been times where people have lied and they're still in jail and things. And I, I try to go through all those cases and all the people who are wrongly sitting in jail, I try to get them out. Mm. I like mm. that. I got a real good question. You ready for this? Yes. What is your BMI? My body mass? Yes. It's very important right now. You don't understand. Very important. <laughs> uh, when, I, when I went to training camp in July, it was 2.7. Just did it on Monday. It was 4.9. Uh-oh. So how much do you weigh? Um, 192 pounds. She's trolling you right now. She's. I am not. She's trolling. trolling. Yeah. yeah, she's just joking. Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, I'm a football player. I'm. I'm the shortest guy on the roster. I'm, I'm the smaller guy, but you know, I'm still there. <laughs> I wasn't trolling. That was a good question, Bella. This is it. <laughs> You're, how tall are you? How tall are you? I'm, I'm five foot nine and 192 pounds, and I'm the shortest guy on my team. That's a good question, Bella. We need to do these things. Gosh. Okay, well, thank you so much, sir. Uh, we gonna, uh, are we done with questions for Mr. Naheem for now? Yeah, we're good on questions for now. Okay, and do, uh, do we need to bring any of the others back up? Do we have any additional questions for any anybody else right now? You know what? Bring me contestant number two. I ain't done with him. I'm not okay, Mr. Him. Jackson. All right, Naheem Jackson. Mr. Jackson is going to come up. <sighs> Mr. Jackson, I got a question for you because you you love this nature and stuff. So I need to. I'm, I'm interested. I want to know. So let let's say you were you were bitten by a radioactive ladybug, and you receive supernatural powers. What would those powers be, and how would you use them? <laughs> bitten by a ladybug. I'm trying to figure out what in the world ladybugs have that would be so. Um, <clears throat> dang, you threw a little curveball in there, ladybug. I get bit by a radioactive ladybug. I mean, I guess honestly, it's so simple, but to fly, you know, you can, you know, you can get from one place to the other, and you don't have to, you know, you don't have to get no flight. You can get pick up who you need to, get where you need to. I'm like, shoot, what in the world would they do? Oh, well, you know what? I'll be able to fly and not have a super uh, penetrable um, uh, outer layer. The little, <laughs> the, the wings and stuff will be like straight armor or something like that. You can't, I, I'm, I'm indestructible. Okay, all right, all right. So Mr. Logic. Do you I have got, a question? I got some for him because I'm I'm trying to narrow these, these gentlemen down in my head. So, um, uh, it's a, it's a two man race in my head. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being one hundred. So, what's your best attribute that you can offer to Bella? One attribute, the best. Um. I'm committed. Whatever I put my mind to, I'm going uh, to see it through. So what's the thing that you've done in your life that you had to uh, show the most dedication and commitment to so we can kind of compare it? Um, I mean, to be honest, the career, uh, being an entertainer is not like, you know, uh, being summa cum laude and, you know, and making, you know, seven, eight, ten figures a year. You know what I mean? It's something <clears throat> you have to be consistent with and know if it's not just this one space, I can use the dancing to move to another space and, you know, being able to um, just stick with it. It's not always easy stuff that comes. So you're going to have to either roll with the punches or you can lay down. So 
um, just being consistent in that manner. Okay, who the head of the household, the man or the woman? It's a combined effort. Combined uh, effort. The man, I want to say the man leads the way because he needs to be the protector. If anything comes first, he gets hit first. But it's a combined effort to, of the woman's wits and her nurture um, and the man's protection that ultimately leads the household. If y'all really take a hit, who's responsible for that? Me, the man. I mean, whether right, wrong, or indifferent, I think the man takes the hit. That's what being the head is about. So being a dancer, you know how to do all them little um, Usher <laughs> and Chris Brown moves, and you know, I mean, let's keep that shit funky. The ladies like that. Yeah. You gotta, gotta worry about any lady problems? Um, nah, I mean, you know, she doesn't have to worry about it with me. Now, if she worries about those on her own, then I need, I want to um, you know, make her feel comfortable and knowing that, you know, they're just friends, a part of what happens, but I, I believe uh, she has nothing that she needs to worry about. Like, as long as we here, we solid. Mm. Okay, so I have a question. How tall are you, sir? Uh, see, on a good day, I'm six foot. On a bad day, I'm 5'11". <laughs> and how much do you weigh? Uh, 186. Okay, okay. Very good. Thank you, sir. Do y'all have any, Bella, do you have any questions for Jax before we let him go? Yeah, one question. When was your last relationship? Um, uh, seven or eight months ago. Okay. What happened? To be honest, she was 10 years older than I was, and um, there was a uh, I realized that I wanted to move in a different direction. It wasn't anything terrible, cheating or anything like that. It was honestly just moving in different directions. Mm. You no, know, and I you broke it off. It was mutual, actually. Uh, it it was more of me, definitely. Uh, I'm the one who wanted to go, but it was uh, definitely a mutual agreement. So you prefer older women? I don't, honestly. I. It was, you know, you become friends with somebody, you have that connection. And even though, you know, people will say, oh, she older, you might not be able to have kids, is that and the fourth, you, you know, rely on that, uh, that connection. And uh, once that connection, you know, kind of fades, then, you know, you have to kind of uh, figure out what's happening after that. Yeah. When the last time you communicated with her? Uh, about three weeks ago. Mm. I ain't got nothing else to care about. All right, Aaron. See, that's terrible because you leave it there without leaving. I answered the question as you answered it, but why? Go ahead. Did it? Go ahead. Nah, her daughter does my hair. Her daughter does my hair, so that's, uh, that's why I did it. That's why I does, hair? does my hair. Oh. Mr. Mr. Jax, have, has any woman ever referred to you as toxic? <laughs> Not to my face. <laughs> I mean, I, I've never heard a woman call me toxic. I'm sure they probably have. I'm sure it may be somewhere, but not. It's not been like you know. Shoot, I'm hanging at the house and the, my homeboys like, "Yo, man, but they say you toxic." Nah, it ain't been nothing like that. So, so yeah, well, oh. when your relationships end, do they end on good notes or bad notes? What, 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 what is the general thing with you? Most good. Most any woman I've ever talked to or dated, we are on good terms. They can, you know, whether they're married, kids, or whatever, good terms. Okay, so how old are you? 32. And do you want to be married? Yeah, definitely. When? Uh, hopefully about 35, but I thought I was going to be married by 30. Yeah. <laughs> like, I made you crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I got one more thing, and I'm, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it funky with you, um, Jet. Check this out. You cool, right? I kind of I kind of mess with your vibes though, but you remind me of myself. You too confident, and they scare well, me because I'm scared mm. to put you in a. I mean, you know what I'm saying give a hand to you because you too confident, right? What so, makes you think I'm too confident? Well, I'm just hold up. I'm just saying now. 
tell me, I mean, pitch something to me to make me vote for you. Well, I'm you kinda, think I'm too confident, <laughs> then I? I mean, I, I don't know how to pitch it to you. I, I'm a, a genuine person, 100% through and through. What you're getting right now is who I am. I'm not necessarily confident. I think over uh, a period of time and growing into myself, I'm confident in who I am. Um, I wasn't like the coolest dude in school. I was a weirdo, you know what I mean? The one who likes to dance and be worth sweating in parties and stuff. So, you know, as you get older and you get, you know, you, you learn your role and your purpose and how you rock, then, you know, you become that, that, that little bit of confidence. And then shoot, my boy, he's a, a NFL player. I got to exude some type of swag and confidence in this thing. You got the bank account. I got to have something. My man, I got you. <laughs> dang, you gotta, dang, y'all got to bring me into it. Hey, it's all love, but dang. Yeah, I know. <laughs> SB already hit you. SB had to come with you. Man, she put you I was out. Like, man, look, I was, man, look, I was already drinking the wine, just chilling. You brought me into it. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Yes, I'm impressed by children. all of you, and all of you are single men. I'm impressed, period. And you all are here with SB, and I thank you all for being here. So that's why I got to I got to shout y'all out. Yeah, all thank are great you, thank you. for me. You're great catches. So I let I got to let the women know. And you know, y'all see Bill Bill is right here. But what about all these women that are in the chat that are watching? So listen, I gotta shout y'all out. Y'all listen. So uh SB, uh, I think uh my guy Nick posed a question. Okay, we got a question. Nick says, How how have wait a minute, let me see. How have any of the bachelors held themselves accountable for why? their last relationships ended um we'll, we'll start with uh ace good question we muted ace you're on mute, you're on mute ace my bad. <laughs> my bad uh my last relationship ended because i it, it was we were dealing with something that was new to me which was insecurity and I didn't know how to deal with it. I'm, I'm gonna say, me myself, I didn't know, know how to deal with it at the time. I just used to be like, I right, am a good guy. It should show you, and you should know this. I love you. Like I, I was, I was on the. It should show if I'm if I'm doing it. You understand? And she needed more reassuring than I was giving, and that led to more insecurity. So yeah, that's yeah. So Ace, how old are you, Ace? I'm 32. Okay. All right. So, um, Naheem, what about that? Your last rel relationship, how did it end? Or have you taken accountable accountability for how it ended? Yeah, I have. Uh, it hurt deeply, but uh, I hope it never happens again. And uh, honestly, just both sides, I made mistakes. She made mistakes. I probably made some more mistakes than she did, but uh, we both made mistakes. And really, it was just a lack of trust. And uh, without trust, there's no love. And I think uh, a lot... Honestly, the last part of the relationship, we did love each other, but it was no trust. So just didn't work. And that's, I mean, we both made mistakes, and that's how we have to get better from it. When was your last relationship? Uh, we broke up in December. Okay. You know, I think, I think we can learn a lot by finding out what type, who's their favorite musician <laughs> and what type of music they listen to. Uh, uh, Mr. Jax, who's your favorite musician? I mean, I can't even really just name one, but uh, um, anybody old school. Hey, you can give me like um, Donny Hathaway or like Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson. Right? Those are that's what I still listen to now. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna come back to you because you indecisive. So, Naheem, uh, who, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite artist? I'm really big in a rap. So, I mean, I'll probably just say like three guys. If I'm trying to vibe, I'll probably listen to A Boogie or Rot Wave. Then other than that, I like Polo G, Little Baby, just guys like that. Okay, okay, okay. You like gangster rap. All right, fan up. Ace, who's your favorite artist? Uh, my favorite um, artist, Jay Z's, who comes to mind. Like, yeah. If we had to pick somebody. So listen, Naheem says he likes a Rod Wave or Little Baby, and he also said he toxic. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say Little Baby. I said I said A Boogie first. Like I like he said A Boogie. Boogie. 
the at least he didn't say future. future. He, he didn't say nah, nah, nah. I wish I like future. I ain't even listened to his album. At least you ain't say future, fam. Oh, I haven't heard his album yet. Oh, I, 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 the other got the laid back fella over here who likes uh Michael Jackson dancing. <laughs> this is this is funny. Whew. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Logic. I'm sorry. All right. So this is for all three of y'all. And I'm gonna start with um my man, Mr. Hayes. Mm -hmm. Eliminate one of your opponents and why. Um <laughs> uh sheesh, man. I would eliminate. I gotta eliminate the toxic guy, like the football player, because he toxic. Because yeah, he toxic. <clears throat> All right. What about you, Jackson? Eliminate one of these brothers and why? I gotta be honest. Bruh said the toxic. That's the only thing that, that rang in my head, and I was like, Shit, "Damn, at least I'm was... honest." Hey, I'm I'm, I'm, that's, real. Be, yeah, yeah, that's, that's real. That's real, bro. Right? I'm gonna mean, keep it I'm real. A... That's the one thing I'm always gonna be real. Nah, facts. I, I'm gonna get this real same thing. Huh? <laughs> nah, go, right, go, okay. go ahead, uh, brother uh, Naeem. I ain't gonna eliminate none of them. I like my competition. Uh. Now we're gonna do this. We're gonna spin this around. Fellas first, not mine. We're gonna spin <laughs> it around, and we're gonna start with you again, Ace. Yeah. Name me one good thing about one of the brothers that you heard on this panel. Uh, I'm gonna start with Naheem. He's he's an honest guy, man. I can tell from the questions he's answered that he's gonna keep it real with you. So that's a good quality to have. Um, with Jackson, seems like a genuine person. Um, also honest and laid back. I'm laid back too, so I like laid back people. So, mm. Mr. Jackson, go ahead and give us some something about the two brothers up here. Uh, my boy Naeem, he works in the community, and I'm I'm big on community, uh, giving back to the kids, um, any way I can. So I, I rock with that definitely. Um, and uh, Ace, I, I I rock with the fact that he's a content creator. It means he he's creative as well as laid back, and sometimes you don't get both of those in one person. So I, he'd probably be definitely cool to kick it with both of those dudes. <laughs> All right, my brother Naheem, and I'm done. Uh, I mean, with Jax, I mean, he's a dancer. I mean, both of these guys are very, very creative. Uh, they have intricate minds. So uh, that's great because, you know, they're not doing something that's regular. So that's really, really good about both of them. Uh, Jax is very, very confident. And I can see how a woman loves that. A woman needs a man who's assertive, confident, because if, you, if you're talking to a woman and there's something you have any indecision, she's going to question you. And you don't need that in a woman. And then Ace, I mean, you real laid back, but you seem like a pretty do dope dude, man. I mean, I like your vibes. You're a great energy, man. Appreciate you. Yeah. It's a good boss. I got to tell you, man, I'm toy, man. Hey, look. <laughs> hey, you need to kick me out of the panel, man, because I don't even want no vote no more. Hey, I, I, I don't know, because look, I see all these brothers. And I see attributes in these brothers that I aspire to be, but I'm still going to eliminate one of y'all. Y'all, I mean, two of y'all. Y'all good. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hold on for a minute. Wait a second. We got to make sure. Aaron, are you done with your questions? I got another question. I don't know why I'm full of questions. All right, I, I'm going to shoot my guy Ace in the foot. If you see, if you see your best friend, you see, you see, you see him out and about, and he with a different woman. Than than his actual girlfriend. Uh huh. You see it, but uh -huh. they don't see you. Uh huh. Do you pretend like it happened, or do you approach him about it? Um, it's my best friend, you said, right? It's your best friend. Yeah, so I'm, we definitely gonna have a conversation about it, and I'm I'm all about holding each other accountable. So that's something that me and my, my bros do at the daily wrap up. So I would definitely ask what's what's going on with the situation, like why you feel you gotta do it. I mean, get to the bottom of what's going on. So listen, this is um this is where we're gonna switch it around just a little bit. Bella, you get to ask each guy one question before we make decisions. One question. Okay. okay. I want to ask this question to everybody. Can you name me one positive and negative character trait 
that you have? Well, I'll start first. I already named my negative trait. So. <laughs> I see. All right, see? Thought ahead, I guess. And then uh, my positive trait, my positive trait, I think, is um, motivation. I'm going to inspire you. Like, every day I wake up to be great. Like, every day I wake up, I have a task at hand. I'm going to motivate you to be great. If you tell me you're going to do something, I'm going to hold you to it. I'm going to hold you accountable. So that's really what I'm going to I'm gonna inspire you to be great. And if any woman with me is going to get the best version of herself, because I'm going to push that for her. Mm-hmm. What about you, Ace? Of uh, my negative trait will probably be that I, f- <laughs> I, I laugh a lot. I like to laugh a lot. So in situations where it might, you might find it seriously, I'd probably be laughing. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> but that's also my positive trait. I got a great sense of humor. So hey, you got to take the good with the bad. Mm. Um. Um, negative trait would probably be um, because I'm such a people person, I come off as a super flirt. Like older women, younger women, I'm a very people pleaser type of person. I worked at Chick fil A for like five years. Like all I did was my pleasure, that type of thing. So that's probably the, the one thing that's probably bad. Uh, Good thing, uh, my personality. Um, uh, I really am um, a motivator, you know, uh, just like Naeem said. Um, I'm always willing to push you, support you, whatever whatever needs to be. If it's a smile, if it's just being quiet, being a listener, like um, my, my character, my personality. Yeah, that's great. Does anybody have children? No. Okay. No, sir. Damn. That was going to make your decision real easy, huh? (laughs) (laughs) Well, thank you, gentlemen. That's all the questions I have. So so that's all the questions. So guess what, gentlemen? We haven't done this all night. But before we go, y'all got one question to Bella. Nope. No? (laughs) Nope. Y'all don't have any questions for Bella. She says no. I got a question. She said oh. no. I, 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 she said no when you asked. I'm trying to oh. ask Bella. I just need a question. There's just one question. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, name two things that we definitely need to know about you if we decide to date you mm-hmm. or if you choose us. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Two things you need to know is that I'm a sweetheart. So I am like a really, really nice person. And. I'm a very active person, so I go to the gym a lot. So if you call me, I'm probably be on a stairmaster or something like that. So yeah. Okay. All right. I have a question. Uh, my question would just be, what are you bringing into our lives? Uh, not just from like the job standpoint, but mentally, physically, and spiritually. Where's your spirit spirituality at? Spiritually, I am a very spiritual. I don't like the word spiritual. Um, I am a Christian, so that's why I am spiritually. And that pretty much is centered around my whole life. So, yeah. And then also, like, what are you going to do? So, like, you know, what do you bring to the table for us, like, mentally? Like, how do you support us? You know, we go through a lot as men, too. Like, how do you, you know, be that queen for us? Well, I say I'm a very calm and peaceful person. So if you ever meet me, you'll just get that energy from me. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. Well, I got a question then. Um, when was your last relationship and why did it end? Can you ask me another question? Nah, that's <laughs> we need that. We need that. Um, she about to say yesterday. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was in college. It was some years back. And why did it end? I mean, there was really no reason. It just kind of ran its course. Okay. So why has it been so long since you've been in a relationship then? Ace, that's more than one question, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that answer didn't they, they, they really suffice for me. Yeah, nice follow-up. Nice yeah. follow-up. I'll answer next episode. Mm-hmm. All right. Maybe. But, but if, if you make it to the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. All right, guys. So listen, um... Check the poll up at the top. 
Cash and Vokes. One is Ace. Two was Jax. Three was Naheem. Chat, go ahead and make your vote. Uh, Yo, this chat is crazy. I should have been looking at it. I've been looking at it reading the whole time. Man, they been calling right. me nervous. The trap been calling me nervous and stuff. Yo, they said I need my I'm not even nervous. So, Mr. Logic, Mr. Logic, you gotta make it. You gotta, you gotta come up with something. So, listen, Mr. Logic, everybody wants you. Oh, Ooh, you the pig? That's what they say. So, do we do we have somebody calculating these? Um, somebody's calculating these numbers. Is somebody doing that for us? We do, we do. We have somebody calculating the numbers. Uh, of course, we do. Uh, we listen, man. I, man, this side is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, don't pay yeah. attention to the chat, bro. Oh, no, I've, been, I've been laughing the whole time. It's been hilarious. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so listen, guys, we, I'm actually put it, we actually put it up as a poll. You can just go to the poll and vote. It's easier for us to do it that way. Just go to the poll and vote. Yeah. Ace is number one, Jackson is two, and Naheem is three. Go ahead and go to the poll. Mm. Sure, we'll, oh, I don't know who got the most money on their head right now, but I'm, man, yeah, I'm okay. worried. I'm worried. I don't know. Uh, can, we, can we get them down so we can we can have a conversation? <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and drop you back in the backstage. Just just stay tuned to see what's going on. We got to see if there's anybody that uh, actually got eliminated by the chat, and we're also gonna see who the um who's the chat's favorite. I'm surprised that the chat didn't uh, have uh, <laughs> some, some crazy questions. They got lucky. <laughs> they got real lucky. <laughs> All right. Hey, so I'm, um, I'm torn though, man. This is. Hey, you had <laughs> you put the best foot foot forward on this one, security boss. Uh, I'm telling you, I mean, I get it to say. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. Hold on, uh, so SB. Yes, Amer uh, American man, look at his uh, super chat. Like, he he trying to change. He's trying to change the rules. He ain't trying to follow the rules. What would he say? So th this so is he what he said. Put money to negate money um, on someone's head. If we can, this I moved a little. That's to take twenty off a of Naeem head. Is, is, is y'all want to do what you think about that logic? Is we, we gonna add that additive? Oh yeah, you just add it to him. Yeah, so the mods so, just added to him. Yeah, because they no, no logic. But remember, remember, it's a cumulative, so you can't add it to his name because that's gonna add to his elimination. He would have to decrease that amount oh. or add it to somebody else's name to overput them. So if, if he got fifty on his head. He need to put that twenty on somebody that got thirty five dollars on their head. Yeah, take we, the we pressure off of him. Yeah, we should so, take it off. We should take the twenty off his head then. Take twenty off his okay, head. So we subtract twenty off. Of, uh, uh, was that not, was that Naeem head? Yeah. God okay, man, I, this I, I guess. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. This this the pilot, so we figuring it out. You know. Oh look, Bella. I want to ask Bella. Look, okay. Bella. Look, man. give me your honest opinion. No. I, 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 I don't know. No, no, no. Don't no, give me no, 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 no right that. Logic, we need. Okay, first of all, let's see. The audit, the poll question is looks like to me Jackson is number two is in, and oh, that's running pretty tight, y'all. Yeah. Come on. Hey, hey. Oh, listen, we got 208 people here in this live. We need oh. all of y'all to vote. We do. We need y'all to vote and listen. Uh, we need y'all to vote and also give us the thumbs up as you're coming into the live. We need y'all to vote. This is too tight to be. Okay. So this is what's so going to happen. This is what's so going to happen. So shout out to American man. He want to add five more dollars off Naeem head. So we're going to subtract five more dollars off Naeem head. Okay. All right. Okay. Look, because it, look, it's getting close. It's yeah, getting I, real I, close. Yes, guys. <laughs> Okay, look, we we got to eliminate somebody, but we're running neck and neck. And we didn't have, did we have any accumulation to, uh, did anybody vote for anybody? No, if it comes to um, a tiebreaker, you know, me and Logic going to have to figure that one out uh, before we shoot that to Bella. Um, hey, it's crazy, but, security balls, look at this. I'm looking at it. I'm saying nobody. Okay, I know it's close. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get people in the live. I need all of you out to cast your votes. This is this. Yeah, this is set. This is crazy. It, they they are all the. How we okay? So listen, we need. Okay, we're gonna have to. Y'all leave us no choice. Yeah, they, they Logic, have, you have an answer. 
I need more time security, boss. I can't. Yeah, listen, listen. We need, we need like a ten, five to ten minutes because we got to get listen. We got to get a chat an opportunity to decide who they want because this elimination, this money on their head is real close. So we well, got to make sure they. Who okay? Who's the money on the head? Who's close? To, who's? The, All right, who's let me give you the number. Show, show me show me the paper right now. Let me let me see. Hold on, I'm, I'm tallying up. Give me a few moments. Hold. On. All right. All right. Elimination. This is for the elimination, right? You muted, air. Okay, so now wait a minute. I, 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 I was, I was. I'm sorry. I was tallying. Q, Q ain't no good. She said, "Nah, put that twenty back on Naeem head. She going in." Okay, but listen. Oh. You know what? There was another one. Five. It says five dollars take off of nine, yeah. of number three. Yeah, was, look, I'm all, I'm all over that right now. I got my yeah. So they not. This is really close. Yeah, they, they. Listen though, that's, the point oh, is, my guy Carlo Rubin, man. Like that, that that that's my guy Carlo, man. Listen, <laughs> we we need about eighty more votes. Come on, guys, eighty more votes. We need if we if we're gonna eliminate somebody, we need it. The accumulation we got one, two, or three. We either gonna eliminate with a super chat, or we're gonna vote in the poll. We got to figure out. Where we are, hold, right on, now, hold on, SB. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> SB. Give the people some time. Because okay. look, this is the pilot. Oh, they, 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 this is the pilot. So you got to make sure because people got to understand what's going on. Because if they if they keep in track anywhere where where I'm at right now, this is close. This is real let close. Me, let me tell y'all what happens next. Whomever we pick or Bella picks or is chosen for tonight's show goes to the finale. That person goes to the finale. We also have another show next Friday night where we'll have three more bachelors. We'll do the same thing, but the winner of tonight goes to the finale. So listen, I think we got about 80 people out there that need to vote. We need your votes. Go ahead and put it in the chat. Listen. And also make sure you give us a thumbs up as you're coming into the live. We got to make a decision. And I think it's so hard because all the gentlemen were so great. Like, they were totally honest. Yeah, it was really stiff competition. They were all great. All right, guys. So we oh, hold on. There was a there was a super chat that just came in. I, I'm trying to pull it up right now. Uh, who was it from? Was it Tyra? Yeah. She said uh, one and add a number four. I don't understand, Tyra. What's that mean? You need to give us clarity because this race is close. So if you're trying to add, put some money on somebody's head, we need to know who that whose head it goes on because this is a close race. It's coming down to the wire. You need to we make got that another one to a dollar ninety nine from Lewis. Um, I didn't see who that went to. There was another um, married men. Wait a minute. Ask the married men who we. No one on his land. Man, who we stamp. Ace is it. So, so we had to take a dollar ninety nine off Ace's head. Then I guess that's the way to interpret that, right? What you think, Logic? So, so I, I get so I get a pick, right? Who moves on, right? Or I got I got to eliminate two. No, you. The chat is choosing. The chat is either we're either going by the poll. We're doing the elimination with the super chats. You do get a vo vote, and then Bella gets a vote. Okay, Tyra, right. Tyra is ridiculous. So Tyra, uh, come on now. You, why I'm giving this out. All right. So I vote for move on to eliminate. I vote to eliminate, right? Yeah, I vote you to eliminate. Vote eliminate. Yeah, you can. All right. I hate to do this, but uh man, hey, all y'all brothers was cool, man. And my Anton Daniels voice, y'all was super, super dope. Like um, I can I can put a laundry list of stuff, but I want Naheem to stick around because I respect his honesty, and I think that's one of the things that's that we need in men to be honest. So logic I stick around. It it don't matter if you want him to stick around huh? because if his, if the, it don't matter if you want him to stick around. The money on his head. Oh, the money I, on his I, head. I, I'm gonna eliminate my one. You know what I'm saying? Mine gonna come first, so it don't matter. So hey, and then um, I like Jackson energy. So sorry, brother Ace. You gotta go, man. God damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was hard, man. It was hard. I swear to God. I like Jackson energy. 
you know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know what I'm saying, he'll be, he'll be that, he'll make Bella happy. And I think that the Naheem guy, I think he'll be honest enough with her, you know what I'm saying, to be a, be a good mate. So, I'm sorry, brother, bro. Hey, look. Hey, you my dude. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. So, um, um so, uh, security boss, uh, you also gonna have to give your take. You don't get to squeak out. Nah, 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 nah. You don't get to squeak out. I was hoping I didn't have anything to do with it. See, only reason oh. why because, listen, this is my, this is my, uh, brainchild. I got the brothers together. So I can't eliminate them all because I chose them all. No, fine, fine, fine. Me and Logic be the bad guys. So what it, it should be between um, the last two who got the most money on their head, right? Yeah, uh, either we going with the poll because the poll got them all even, just about. Oh, we they, we, we gonna we gonna give everybody a few minutes because they may not know who got the most money on his head. So I'm gonna give them an update because we got we gonna have a few more minutes where people can if they want to add some money or decrease some money to keep they got. I'm I'm gonna give y'all updates see where we at. So who who's leading in the elimination right now? Let me get the name. Hold on one second. Okay, so ba Bachelor number two is currently in the lead for being eliminated. He got the most money on his head. What? That's Jax. So after that, the most money on their head is bachelor number three. So Ooh. that means bachelor number one is the most safe when it comes to this money on your head. And my, we got a few more minutes, so we more money could be put on somebody's head. I don't know what to tell you. And I look, Miss Lot said all those nice superlatives and all that good stuff, <laughs> and it's kicked gonna be right out the door. <laughs> but it doesn't matter though, because number two still eliminated. So that money don't matter no more. It should matter with two and three. So so no, so listen, no. listen, no, 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 no. Because listen, because no, hold on, hold on. Think about what you're saying, Logic. Because listen, if number two gets eliminated right now, that leaves only one and three. You can't eliminate one because the chat overruled. That's their power. They had the you power. See what I'm so what we got right there? Uh so we gotta take what five off of Ace head right there. Well, <laughs> Ace looked like he free from that money on his head. They love Ace. They didn't put two, but they didn't put no bounty on his head. Well, I tell you, the mother. Oh, they we team Ace over here. Oh my God. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, so. Okay, so listen. We're the the show is we're ending the show at 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 uh an hour and thirty minutes. We just got a short period of time left to go. You can still put your votes in, and um of course y'all know that Bella gets the ultimate vote. We do have the power in the chat, but Bella also has a vote. So we're not gonna say yet what's going on. We still want to know where are we at um right now, Aaron. We still get Alan Q is. Bella don't do it. We still talent. What she what, what what my girl Q said. Hold on, let me see. This she want to put she want to put another 20 on Jackson head? Oh lord. I'm not. Let me see. She said team the other man traditional team. Ace. So y'all understand that y'all are voting super chat well, to eliminate. Yeah, yeah so wait, do do they understand that they put money on their head or are they trying to take money off? Come on like Q, you got to make sure I I don't understand if you are trying to Take money off his head, or you probably put money on his head. Uh, she said, "She said this is for Jackson. She's Team Ace." Oh, so she put money on his head. Yeah, Q be following the rules. Put money on his head. Put that money on his head. Q know how to follow the rules. That's that's. Yeah, money. I think you know what? I think we tripping. I think they know exactly what they doing. <laughs> <laughs> and I no, think it's, no, it's too. Did we SB. say. No, because they they changed it up in the middle. They said, how do I take money? They said they should be able to take money off somebody's head. That's how it got changed in it, literally in the moment. So that that's why. Okay. So yeah, Q, I know you can read. Calm down. Somebody say bye-bye, Naheem. Bye-bye, <laughs> Y'all are so wrong. Everybody <laughs> like A's. Uh, Y'all are wild in this chat. Y'all are ruthless. All I the guys were great. Don't play. Yeah. The chat true. don't play. Where are we at in the poll right now? Still even, aren't we? No, Naheem is winning, thirty six percent. So yeah, but he's how much is he, only about a few. Come on, that's tight. 
Right. Listen, we got 219 people here in this live. I think oh, we got right. Okay, they, Maria. They, look, they put more money coming in on Jackson's oh, head. <laughs> she got night. <laughs> oh, somebody got money on Naheem head. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't know what to tell y'all, brothers. They put money on This chat don't play. They put this money on your head. Savvy. All right. I think I think Ace got a fan base, man. I think Ace do too. So. I think so too. I think Ace brought his people with him. I think that's what's happened. That's exactly what's happening. All right. So listen. Oh, who was that one for? Oh, ah. Uh, get rid of Jax. Oh, Naheem, Naheem, Naheem. <laughs> Oh, listen, didn't we talk about this, y'all? Didn't we say this would happen? So what are we supposed to do? So All right, Naheem so listen. Went in the poll. Naheem got the most money. Oh, no, who got the most money in his head, Aaron? All right, give me one second. I'm tallying it up right now because we got. Damn, they tried to take out Naheem. We got, we got people coming in right now. So give me a few moments because, listen, because I told you. Just that fast to try to tell you who, who the boss is around here. Yeah. Uh, so don't add this last problem. one. Don't add this last one because somebody said Naheem head, but then somebody said 10 to take it off of Naheem head. <laughs> they wilding, man. So listen, Jackson, they said that you could be in if you find somebody else to do your hair. Lord have mercy. They be running your life. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Bring all three for next show. Ooh. Ooh. You know what, guys? I don't think we could do that. That's 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 six. We can't do that. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to vote. Can we at least bring back two though? Yes, I think that's fair. Can we can we at least we can we we can at least bring back two and then and put one like kind of in the winner circle? Mm. Aaron, so, you got a number for us. We got it. we'll see in just a second. Aaron, you got a number for us. Who got the most on their head right now? We got three minutes. Oh, oh give us a few seconds. We tally it up because see those right. that just came in. Number, look, bachelor number two got the most on his head. It look, it's looking bad for bachelor number two. It's looking bad for him. All right, so guess what? We're gonna bring everybody back up again. So bachelor number one. Give me, give me the case. Maybe, maybe they need to tell, yeah, pull them up, SB, and maybe they could tell the tell chat why they shouldn't be eliminated. Because maybe yes. the chat got something, mm -hmm. got something wrong. It's a good idea. He right there. <laughs> we, we dropped, we got one. Uh oh. Oh, y'all, we lost one. What happened? Did he eliminate himself? No, he didn't. I think, we, I think we dropped. <laughs> he made it easy for us. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, All right, let's see. Can I get it? Oh, he he might have been Ace, Ace got a lot of family in these YouTube streets. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of family yeah. out here. Ace did some promo before he came. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Ace is Mr. Solo. Popular. Solo. <laughs> All right, let me see. Let's see. Can we get Naheem back up here? I don't know what happened. I don't know. We dropped him. Or he just ja dropped. now Jackson. Now they they taking it rough on you, brother. What what you think you didn't did to make these people be so rough on you? He went back, got that hair braided three weeks. I think ago. it's just red. <laughs> really? It, it might be the red. It might, you know, it's her daughter braiding my hair. I mean, I get it. I get it. But it's not like I'm involved with anybody right now, so that I would stop. It's not you know stopping nothing. They're respectful. Well, you know, we appreciate you being honest. I think the ladies would understand. It's hard to find a good hair, hair dressed ladies. Yeah. They say sure. I think they should understand. But I mean, if I mean, obviously, if you move forward with somebody, then you know you can either be it depends on what type of woman you are. You say no, then we gotta switch it up. Other than that, then we can all live in a happy, cohesive world. <laughs> all right. So listen. Um, I don't know what happened to Naheem. So listen, where are we at now? You, okay, Ace is winning in the polls now. Damn, my boy Naheem. I'm just out here taking the blow alone. That's crazy. Okay. He said, Wait a minute, y'all. He said he got kicked off. Come back in. Hold on. He's trying to come back. Uh, Ace not winning no more. It's time. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let 
Did y'all have fun with these questions? I wish we would have asked you some more questions. Oh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Q, Q, you cannot do this to us. What, what do we look like clericals? Like, what is? Did she just say? Hold on, I, she confused. First, she said I could. She said we the ones that couldn't read. Now she's saying she confused. All right, so so you want to put that uh, super chat so I can read it because I, I can't see what she said. Hold on. She said she got the names confused. She said all her money need to go on ace well she uh, she on team jack. jack okay <laughs> all right he's back now so we're gonna bring him up okay listen i don't know what we're gonna do y'all we we didn't anticipate we, we we thought about it a little different we just didn't think it would be this close but i don't know all of you guys are great so i should have yeah. known that and shout out to my black men in the world man we holding it down uh, y'all are doing it now y'all are winning i'm telling you you're winning yeah Listen, I apologize for that, brother. I didn't mean to do that. I don't even know how it happened. Oh, yeah. I thought I, she, I, thought I was going to do something. You you got <laughs> I was listen, sitting here chilling. I was watching TV. We can't, um, every, we can't decide. Okay, so, Aaron, do you have some numbers for us? Who is eliminated right now? Anybody? So, so uh, Okay, so we got another super. So we got another super chat in from my from my bro, Cap. You know, and he said, "This is what he said." So I'm gonna just read what he said. He said, "My dude, he's Team Ace." So I'm guessing he want to subtract twenty on Ace tab. Y'all gotta see. We see. We gonna have to see. They ain't listen. They don't understand. They don't understand. They don't understand. Jesus, look. So right now, who's leading in the elimination? I, I know I'm drumming up the suspense. I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, so bachelor number two still got the most money on his head. So, Jackson, we're going to have to let you go, brother. It's all good. Bella, don't cry. Don't cry, Bella. Don't cry, Bella. Don't cry, Bella. Don't cry, Bella. I know. I know. If they don't work out, Bella, you can get my number from SB. Nah, nah. Put, put Jackson off. Take Jackson off my screen. He, I'm done with him. You gotta Take go. Him off. You gotta go. You gotta, gotta go. go. Chat, the Bye. chat is over. We appreciate go. you participating, but when the chat say it's over with, it's, it's over. over. That's the right. Chat don't play. Get out of here. Get out of here. Full smooth. <laughs> <laughs> so now, listen, now I'm gonna I'm blame okay. my sis Q for this though, because she over here all willy nilly confused what she didn't done with her super chats. But uh, you know, we're not gonna oh, even... go ahead, SP. So here we go. We're down to it now. We have Ace and Naheem. Okay, so guys, we've been here an hour and thirty minutes, and so we're gonna have a drum roll. And Bella, you get to tell us. Hold on for one moment. Let's keep the drum rolling. Move me out for just a second, sir. I got I to gotta say something. Huh? So we're back. Drum roll, please. Bella. Did he just put some more money on? Okay. Um, mm -mm. Drum roll, please. Now, listen, we've been here an hour and 34 minutes. Bella, we're going to let you make your choice. Drum roll, please. Let's go. Bella, go ahead and tell us who you choose. Stay tuned for the next show. On Friday night, we'll hear who Bella picked for the next show. What? You going to do that? No. Yeah, I wanted to figure out what I missed. I was gone for 10 minutes. I yeah, yeah. And a chance to fight for themselves. I was gone. Y'all, that was open. Listen, listen, we appreciate everybody rocking out on this. I hope uh, we delivered a great show for y'all tonight. Uh, we appreciate everybody being here. We had a lot of fun. Uh, this is the pilot. We're going we to go to the lab and keep working. Uh, the contestants, we really appreciate all y'all. Uh, we're going to find out who the winner is. Good night. Make sure y'all give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think. Yeah.